Hey everybody, short, we're just going to make a short video of here of an updated Terminator ROM hack, which I'm really excited to play, um, because as you can see from the title screen, it looks fantastic. And as you know, I'm Forever Richer 82 here, and we're going to go ahead and check this out. This was given to me by Doodle Danger Noodle, and uh, links will of course be in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out for yourself, as it should be played, because like I said, I've always wondered what it would be like to play Terminator that was cancelled originally back in the early 90s. Instead of getting that horrible hack job known as the Mindscape version, which don't play. I've made that, I made my disdain for that in my, la in that, in my last Terminator video. So, alright, so this appears to be an updated version. I mean, already the title screen looks amazing. So, let's just get right on to it. Also, the theme was included which we'll, we can hear a little bit of before I get to the gameplay. Yeah, that's my tune, that's my jam. Oh, this game has great music anyways. Anyways, I'll link the soundtrack below. That way you can jam it yourself. Okay, the font has changed. That looks it looks more Terminator-esque or something you'd see in Terminator. It just has a feel, the, 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 the text. Oh, now this is cool. This puts me in the Terminator mood. Because in the original photo, you had three people standing there, and it looked like something from Tron. I don't know. Okay, the rise ain't red, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm, not, I'm willing to forgive that. It's not an issue. I'm not a person that's just all gung-ho about little details because people out there just like to point out faults because I guess it makes them feel better about the product that they can bitch about it. To me, I'm willing to look past that. Oh, wow. Hold on, I gotta pause a minute. Pause? Yeah. This looks absolutely amazing. Kyle Reese's sprite looks much like Kyle Reese in innate form easily. And I love the uh, coloration, like it has a metallic look of the power and gun levels. I like that. So, that's already plus five points for me. But of course, the proof is in the pudding within the gameplay. Now, from what it looks like, the enemies haven't changed, and that's okay. Because in the second level, the enemies were giving a minor change. So I look forward to seeing that. So some of you may be thinking, why are you so passionate about the Terminator ROM hack? Well, I look at it as a part of Nintendo history that we missed out on. Because as you all know, or may know, Sunsoft was originally going to make a Terminator game for the NES. I mentioned this before in my other video. And they weren't allowed the rights. I mean, I don't know the whole story behind it, necessarily. I don't want to sound like an ignorant fool, but that's as much as I know. And, but Mindscape was given into it, and now Mindscape always made some shitty games. There's not one Mindscape game that I can think of, other than maybe Gods, even though that wasn't really made by Mindscape, that was made by Bitmap Brothers. That was any good. I mean, the Paperboy hack, or the hack, it was kind of a hack job on the NES. The fucking back wheel looked bent, and the sound effects were pretty bad. It was digitized sound, though. And that was pretty cool for the system as old as the Nintendo was, given the primitive tech. But that's fine. I, I don't, you know, I have minor, I don't have big gripes on little things like most people in today's world does. Or do. Hey, pile of skulls. I didn't see that before, so I don't remember. But this looks more Terminator-esque than the original ROM hack already. I'm already, like, just astounded by it. Blown away. And uh, another reason why... God damn, I hate this fucking thing. I always have. Alright, let's see if there's been any changes to this boss. I'm passionate about Terminator. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at the... I gotta pause. Look at the detail on this. This really does look like a flying HK. Like, to the T. I mean, the sprite work is absolutely... It's been my talk. Oh, yeah. That looks fucking amazing, though. I love the detail. Just look at the detail. It's amazing. I love it. It's great. 
Fantastic work already. I actually may be able to beat this boss without dying. So, knock on wood. <laughs> I'm guessing just by the looks, you have to hit the 5HK at the top, like before. Oh, you got this fucking kid. Oi, come on, I can do better than this. Alright, this is a lot better than the original pack. I mean, you hit the very top of it. I mean, that's more believable than sending a blank space, you know what I mean? Well, what do you know? I've just earned a life achievement, everybody. I beat this level without dying. <laughs> or, but, yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. Alright, let's get back my handgun and see what kind of. see if any changes have been made. No fucking way! That's what I'm talking about! Get fucking TA-100s up in this bitch! This is what I'm talking about. Oh man, I'm like all excited. <laughs> Damn it. God, I suck at this game. <laughs> uh, I wish I was better at it, but I'm not. Uh... Yeah, that... Dude, that, the, the TA-100s is a nice touch. It's a lot better than those weird-looking robots. I mean, they look like those little, mi those little mini tanks. I forgot the names of them, forgive me. On the Terminator movie. They look like miniature versions of that, and that was fine, you know, it had Terminator, some, something Terminator in it, but this, this brings out the feel, I love it, the feel of Terminator, and I like, you know, I like the Terminator universe, especially the first two movies. I was not really a big fan of Genesis or Salvation. You know, because... Or wasn't made by James Cameron, so, you know, gotta take what you can get. I'm, I, for one, would love to see the Terminator franchise come to a close. I didn't see all of Genesis, so I wasn't, let's just say I, halfway through, I was just so annoyed by it that I just stopped watching. Now, your, your opinion may vary. I wasn't a fan of it, but you might be, and I don't want to knock on something you like. Yeah, those T-800, so that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to explore this for our maximum more in my free time. But so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's fantastic. Bloody brilliant, and I mean that. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm actually being serious about it. this. Is bloody brilliant. It's, been, it's amazing. I'm blown away. It's like I'm having a hard time finding the words. The words don't do it justice. I mean, people that need to act if they're a fan of both Terminator and Journey to Silius, they really need to check this one out. I mean, I actually feel like I'm playing a Terminator game. Before you had it right, it just needed a little bit of tune-up, and I think you know you went ahead and did that and. You did a fantastic job, so major, major props to you. Oh, he looks different, too. I don't know what he's supposed to represent, necessarily, but he does look more like a Terminator than that one that was in the other hack. Left, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can do it with just the gun. Because I don't want to waste, you know, ammo if I end up dying here. Damn it! 
I always fuck up on this boss, too. It's always the bosses. Alright, let's go ahead and this one. As the old saying goes, try harder. the third level like we didn't see in the last one because the last one I didn't play as well. I'm not playing too great like right now either but I'm doing a lot better than I did last time so that's already a touch so we get to see some of the third stages now if, if not all of them. I want to make it to maybe game over. Alright let's go. I always pick the hand because alright the reason why I do this I like to try to save the ammo for the last part of the level. So that way I can fight the little boss before you fight the main boss. That's my strategy. Everyone's got to this strategy. Wow. Now, I didn't nah, I didn't play too much of the original hack to see if that was in the third game. But that's cool. Oh, come the fuck on. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, exoskeletons up in the piece. So are you supposed to jump over those? I'm, just, I'm guessing so. There we go. Jeez. That was on the hey. I couldn't see that, so that was blending in the background. That's alright. Memorization. Trial and error. That's what most NES games are about. I'm getting my ass kicked. That's all I know. I get to see it now. You fucking suck! Well, today I do, I guess. One thing that annoyed me about the most about both, especially with Journey to Silius, the original game, is the lack of life power-ups. That always pissed me off to the point where it was like, okay, then why have them in the game in the first place? You barely give them out. I mean, it happens like one out of a million times, and I'm not even joking about that. It's stupid. I'm not, I mean, that has nothing to do with this hack. Not at all. It has to do with the original material that this game was when we got it. Yeah, this is dope, man. I'm re I really feel like I'm playing an actual Terminator game this time around. But this is the subtle changes. I mean, like, like I was always told by friend of mine from long ago. Subtle changes can go a long way, and in this case, absolutely. Come on, please come up here. I don't think he will, but... to the third stage. So what do I think of this hack? I mean, I think I already explained. I really love the changes made here. It's absolutely amazing and fantastic. I know I always use those words, but there's, I mean, there's really no words that I could really give to just say how happy I am with this hack. This hack is really awesome. It's been, it's well made. It, the subtle changes actually add to the play value of Terminator. The game is still a dirty bitch, but that's that's that, that's how it's supposed to be. That it's Nintendo hard. Journey to Silius is definitely that, and it's my opinion, opinion, and heart of hearts that if any of you've never played Journey to Silius, should play it or play this hack. This is an amazing hack. I'll have links in the description for both the soundtrack and where you can find this imma uh, immaculate piece, and you can go ahead and play it yourself. I mean, so this is definitely a Forever Retro approved. Most hacks nowadays, I'm just going to go on a little rant and then we'll call it a video. 
Most red hacks nowadays seem to ha lack the whole ethos of what the original source material of the game is. They think just by making a game harder and making little changes here and there will make it an excellent hack. Like a lot of the Mega Man and Mario hacks. They're purposely hard just to piss you off and forces you to use save states. I don't believe that a ROM hack should make you use save states. You should be able to play it and get good at it and complete it as normal. But a lot of these games are so frustratingly hard, like a lot of these hacks, excuse me, are so frustratingly hard that you just can't play them and have fun. You get too frustrated. And gaming shouldn't be a frustrating hobby. It should be a rewarding and fun hobby. And most of these ROM hackers don't seem to get that. And uh, count of this hack. This hack's made by the Pack, Pack and Dave's, which I'm or Pax and Dave. I, you know what? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's it's something along the line. That some of you should know who they are. They've been in the gaming industry, or at least the ROM hacking industry, for a little while now, and they make some really good stuff. Some some subtle hacks, and someone some of them that are actually just mind blowing. And I definitely approve of what they're doing, and I approve of their website. It's making a form of history in terms of our past and especially when it comes to this here so I, I definitely approve you should give this a try especially if you're a fan of both Journey of Silius and Terminator uh, but I think that's uh, about it so this has been Forever Retro 82 get, showing off this awesome ROM hack and I hope you all have the rest of your uh, have a good rest of your day and take good care of yourselves and each other See you on the next one.